Hey guys, what's up, I'm back with a quick video, showing you how to use abridged connection in the Tor browser. I forgot to do this at the end of my last video covering the installation and use of Tor, so I thought I would make up for that by creating a video dedicated to it instead. The only reason I recommend using a bridge in Tor is for people who don't have access to a VPN, because it may be illegal in their country, or for people wishing to use Tor without a VPN, a bridged connection comes in handy. Using the bridged connection does not allow your ISP, or the authorities to see that you are running Tor, which means they won't be able to red flag it. Even if you are only using Tor for general browsing, it still notifies the government that you're using Tor. And to stop them from flagging it, you need to use either a VPN or a bridged connection, the bridged connection being more viable for those of you who don't have a VPN. There are three different types of bridges you can use if you are running Tor. The first type is OBFS4, which makes your Tor traffic look random, thus making it harder to pinpoint someone potentially using Tor. The second type is a snowflake type which protects you against surveillance by routing your connection over many many relays, which also hides the fact that you're using Tor. And finally, the third type, Meek Azure, which makes it look like you are using a Microsoft website, instead of being on an Onion site. So there you have it folks, that's three types of bridges you can use to hide your connection on Tor. This will also work if you are using a public Wi-Fi, such as that in a library. Okay. That's all for this video folks. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, and do be sure to give my videos a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. Okay, bye for now.